Hello everyone, this is the Kaijudo channel with, finally, another video of Kaijudo news. Today is August 8th, 2012, and we finally have a big day of news to talk about. So, two weeks of dojo has passed, and this is what we get. Loads of stuff to talk about, let's get straight to it. First things first, before I talk about all this crazy news that just came out today, maybe an hour or two ago, I'm going to talk about something that's going on on Twitter right now. So if you don't have a Twitter, or if you do have a Twitter, and you're not followed to this account, Wizards underscore Kaijudo, that is pretty much the official Kaijudo Twitter account. Right now, they're at 177 followers, and if they get to 250 followers, they will release an exclusive card preview from Rise of the Duel Masters base set to all of us. So... I don't know, if you don't have a Twitter, go ahead and sign one up and follow Wizards Kaijudo right now. And if you do and you haven't followed this account, then please go and just do it right now. Once it gets to 250, we get an awesome sneak peek at a card, and who doesn't want those, right? Now on to the big news. This is the first thing that caught my eye, and this is just ridiculous stuff right here. So if you guys live on the West Coast, you probably have a good chance to make this awesome event which is PAX Prime. It is going on August 31st to September 2nd. It's pretty much this awesome gaming convention. And guess what? Wizards of the Coast, their, pretty much their company is located in Washington, in that area. So that's why they're making a huge kind of big deal out of Kaijudo. It's perfect. I mean, they're really close by to it. And it's right before Base Set comes out. So they're going to be doing all this crazy things. And if you live around there, I do know a couple of my subscribers who do live around that area. You'd be crazy not to go. There is so much stuff going on. I'm going to list all of them right now. So first of all, just like Comic-Con, free booster packs. Probably one per person as well. Maybe not. Who knows? But in addition to that, they're also going to be having a pre-release on the Saturday for Base Set. This event is taking place literally a whole week before Base Set comes out. So if you get there, you'll be able to play with the cards before everyone else. Now, I do not know if this pre-release is exclusive to PAX Prime. I'd be pretty sad if it is. If they do a pre-release everywhere, like a lot of stores can actually do pre-releases, that would be so much better. But if not, well, too bad. I mean, who cares? It's, um, yeah, one week ahead, PAX Prime, go there if you want to do pre-release. There's also a lot more stuff here. I'm not even done yet. Kaijudo League Play. Now, this I'm not really sure about. This one's a little bit weird. Because they said that Kaijudo League is going to be two weeks after Base Set gets released. They clearly says in the article that there's going to be a TCG Convention League thing going on. And that... I don't know. I don't really understand it. Because it, does that mean that if you're at PAX Prime, that means you get kind of an advantage in that you are playing the league before everyone else, meaning you rack up points before everyone else. I really don't know how it works. I'm really not sure at all, but uh, I don't know. There's just some sort of league thing going on there. I don't know what it's all about, but maybe it's just a, a like a, an event kind of thing just for fun to get more packs or something. I really don't know. Uh, something to do with the pre-release maybe. And not only that, there's also going to be a demo of the online game. So considering it's a demo, that probably means it's going to be an actual Kaiju Online game where you could play multiplayer and not just against the AI. Because it wouldn't be a demo since it's already out. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that it's going to be a multiplayer demo. And not only that, while you're there, you'll also get a code. I don't know what the code's for, probably to unlock newer cards other than the 9 that we already have. Um, I'm not really sure what it's about, but yeah, you get a code there as well, so you could do something on Kaiju Online whenever that releases, which is probably the same time as Base Set. Just guessing. And other than that, there's going to be a panel just like at Comic Con, talking about Kaiju and stuff. And apparently, if you get a hold of some people walking around the Kaiju booth or something, you could actually have a chance to duel against one of the wizard R&D employees, which is pretty much all the people who worked on designing the cards and stuff like that. So that'd be pretty fun to do. Uh, so definitely look out for that if you're going to be there as well. Now, enough about PAX Prime. That was just, I don't know, that, that's pretty much the biggest news that has been talked about. And uh, yeah, loads of stuff going on there. It's pretty crazy. Now, for all the people 
who have started Kaijudo but have come from other games like Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic, uh, Pokemon, all that kind of stuff. You probably heard of Ultra Pro. Uh, they make sleeves, deck boxes, pretty much all these different trading card game accessories. And they released an article saying how Kaijudo has teamed up with Ultra Pro to create some innovative products and ideas that have not really been created yet. So I think that's pretty neat. I think the funniest thing that I got from this article was the fact that they actually used Blurple in the article. So, I mean, it's kind of funny how, you know, CVH posts his Blurple deck profile, and then, like, the first sentence of the article says, you want this awesome deck box to hold your Blurple deck? I was like, what? They just used Blurple in an article. That was really funny. And they mentioned something about showing off your... Your, your set of good gargons. Oh, good gargons, so scary. So we have binders, these crazy deck boxes and stuff like that. That's gonna be pretty cool. I guess they're gonna be like Kaijudo centric in the fact that, you know, they'll have one for each civilization. And, but they also said Blurple, so maybe they'll have combinations as well. Like, I really don't know. Maybe it's gonna be like a double deck box that's like half blue and half purple. Who knows, Ultra Pro and Kaijudo teaming up, they're going to be making some awesome products, so definitely stay tuned for that. Now, for the fans of the show that I really should catch up on, but um, I, I haven't been able to watch it. There's going to be a really big episode this week or next week. I don't know, but they skipped a week for this awesome episode to come out. So, apparently something crazy is going to happen in this episode. And I'm just going to go ahead and guess it's going to be something to do with evolution or something like that. I, I can't really say much, though. I haven't seen the show. I know a lot of you have, and, well, I can't really say much. So if you guys know anything about it or whatever, put your thoughts on what you think is going to happen in this big episode. Also, for fellow Canadians, like myself, the show is actually going to be airing in Canada, finally. So it's been on the hub and stuff like that in the States and on the site and stuff like that. But now it's actually going to be on a Canadian channel. Uh, they're going to be doing, I think, two weeks of kind of previews of the show, kind of like what they did with the show on the Hub. Um, so August 18th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. If you have the Teletoon channel, stay tuned for that because you'll be able to watch Kaijudo on your TV if you're in Canada. So I guess this will actually give me a reason to watch the show because... I haven't, and uh, I guess I'd kind of like to. Now, lastly, there was two things posted in the strategy article section. First thing, I know a lot of you people have been asking for how to play videos or tutorial videos and stuff like that. Well, guess what? Kaijudo has actually made their own tutorial videos for you, and I think these are actually quite helpful. I have a link in the description. Look out for... Um, it's going to be something like how to play videos, have you met Master Hawkins yet? And click the link there, and there's like, I think, eight or nine videos or so of all the different kind of things that go on in Kaijudo. So definitely go ahead and check those videos out, and you'll get a way better idea of Kaijudo. Probably way better than I can even explain it. So definitely go check that out if you are a new player and you would love to learn more about Kaijudo. And the last thing that they posted in the strategy section was actually a duel between two employees at Wizards of the Coast, Gavin Verhey and Chance Raymond. They pretty much had, you know, an office duel, and whoever won got a pack of the dojo, and, you know, that's that. I didn't really read into it too much, but uh, if you're interested in reading, you know, duels and stuff like that, go ahead and check that link out. It's going to be right under the other link that I just talked about. And other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this week. Remember, please follow Wizards underscore Kaijudo on Twitter if you haven't, because we'll get a preview card once that account hits 250 followers. If you live in the Seattle area or anywhere on the West Coast, really consider going to PAX Prime because of the fact that there are even more awesome things going on there than they did at Comic-Con. So PAX Prime is going to be nuts. So if you live there, you have to go to this thing. Uh, I mean, you get packs and all this other stuff. It's just crazy. I already talked about it for five minutes. So uh, please go there and do us all a favor and kind of show off uh, what you did there and uh, stuff like that. That's it, guys. This is the Kaijudo channel signing off. Hope you had a nice day, guys. See you later. Whoop.